hello guys welcome once again today I'm gonna show you how to update your data in the database using NetBeans so go to palette take a button we will name this button as update button update and change the variable name text text update okay right click update button event action and action performed and in the action performed method First of all, we will make a try catch block. Try catch and in the catch block, right. Exception E and as always we write I'm just copying J option pane dot show message dialog null comma E in catch block and in the try block you have to write or you have to declare four variables because we want to add it our four text fields employee ID name surname and age so we need to declare four variables so first string value 1 is equal to take our employee id variable name copy it and paste it here dot get text get text get text and in the same way you have to do it for our all four text field employee ID now we need the name variable name and just paste it here and surname variable name change variable and just copy the surname the variable name and I will paste it here and one last time copy the age variable name and paste it here and value 1, value 2, value 3 and value 4 so because we have 4 text field to add it so we declared 4 variables in which we are taking the values of the text field now we have to write a string as always for the query string sql is equal to and in the string sql query we should write update whatever is your database table name so my table name is employee info so I will copy it and just update employee info then write set and then write 
the name of your variable so our first table column name is employee id so we have to write it here id is equal to and here is the most important part we have to first of all make two single quotes and inside two single quote make two double quotes and inside two double quotes make two plus signs and in this in between this plus sign you have to copy your first variable name which indicates your employee id and paste in between the value 1 so employee id is equal to single quote in between double quote in between plus and in between that you have to write value 1 and we will do it do the same for our four values now for the name name i think this code will come here so name is equal to once again I'm just copying because we don't have much time and just change it to value 2 so same thing you have to do two times more for surname assign value 3 and for age assign value 4 and end with semicolon so this is our method after writing this write pst is equal to con dot statement and in the prepare statement just we need our SQL and then write EST dot execute okay so I think our update method is going completed one more thing and we update our table we should know that the table is updated so we have to show the message update so for showing the message I am writing j option pin dot show message and in here you should write null and in second click I'm writing table updated so our table is we will come to know that our table is updated or not so let's try to run the program I click and run file this is our program suppose I want to add it field third so I click it I want to change the name Sam as name as BAM and age also 29 and I press update button and I think there is some 
error so I have to check it so let's check our error so I think I found the mistake yeah I spell update incorrect I have to write update employee info set is equal to this is all correct and one more thing you have to write here after you have declared all the four values employee id is equal to value name is equal to value 2 surname is equal to value 3 and age is equal to value 3 and after that write where your employee id is equal to your value just copy this whole code employee id is equal to value and after where just paste it so it should know in which employee id we want to update data so let's try to update our data run the program and update the data and then go to sam i want to change the name sam as bam ram i will change the name and also change the age as 29 and when i click the update button our data is updated because we can see the message updated and one one when once again we will run the program you can see our data is updated bam ram and 29 it's not updated instantaneously because we have haven't called our method update table in in here so just go and copy your update table method which i have shown when we are populating our up table and you can see it in the previous tutorial and just paste it here and now when you run the program and we will try to update employee id 2 once again and i add mark one more k and douglas one more s and i will change the 8 ages 52 for example and now I'm when I update the table the table should be updated instantaneously and you can see instantaneously a table is updated so that was this tutorial on how to update your table I hope you have enjoyed and please rate comment and subscribe Thanks for now.